One of Prime Minister Modi's campaign promises is to work towards India becoming energy independent in the next few decades. And the Modi government has been trying to scale up energy generation from renewable sources, but analysts say there remain challenges that are slowing down progress. Rebecca Bundan reports from Gujarat, the home state of Mr Modi and one of India's largest solar and wind power producers. Residents of the village of Madeira rely on the sun for almost all of their electricity. A project under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, it's India's first solar-powered village. Rooftop panels and a solar plant help to provide energy round the clock to its 6,500 residents. Among them are Bipin Patel and his family. The electricity is provided free of charge under the joint project between the central and state governments. पर पहले क्या था कि कभी कभी बिजली का बिजली कट कटती थी और जो समर होता है समर में बहुत गर्मी होती थी और लोग इसे फैन चला नहीं सकते थे पर अभी तो 24 7 डे वो बिजली आती है तो सब लोग आराम से वो फैन भी चला सकते हैं और फ्रिज का पानी ठंडा भी पी सकते हैं Bippin says he and other residents have faced some problems, including lights being damaged by the new system, which he blames on voltage issues. But overall, solar power has improved his quality of life. Madeira is home to a famous Hindu sun temple, dating back to the 11th century. That association is also partly why this village was chosen, as India seeks to improve its energy security and reduce its carbon emissions. With costly fossil fuel imports expanding the country's trade deficit, developing renewable energy is all the more important for India. The solar project in Madeira is part of the government's plans for India to generate half of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030. And Mr Modi has also pledged that the country will cut its emissions to net zero by 2070. Official figures show that India has more than doubled its green energy capacity to 188 gigawatts from just over 80 a decade ago, when Mr Modi first came to power. The government's intention is quite clear that India, uh, it, it wants uh, India to become the global superpower when it comes to energy transition and the renewable energy. But despite more than doubling its green energy capacity, India isn't even halfway to its target of 500 gigawatts by 2030. Analysts say that the goal is achievable. But factors including the cost of capital need to be addressed to make the sector more attractive to investors. A report by think tank Ember estimates that India requires almost 300 billion US dollars of financing to meet its capacity targets by 2030. And it would need an additional 100 billion US dollars if it were to align with the net zero pathway proposed by the International Energy Agency. There has to be a capital push uh, from the government, significant capital push from the government uh, uh, in terms of the uh, loans, the, the capital addition and loans provided by the banks at the low rates, uh, as well as uh, the proper infrastructure should be, the transportation and other activities needs to be, uh, you know, pushed uh, in order to uh, add more capacities. There are efforts underway to accelerate the pace of India's renewable energy expansion. Although still at a very early stage, the Modi government is working on plans for India to become a global hub for green hydrogen. A fuel produced when electricity generated from renewable sources is used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. But India's energy needs are growing, with Mr Modi himself anticipating this February that the country's energy demand will double by 2045. That same month, India's power ministry announced new coal-fired plants with a combined capacity of 13.9 gigawatts will start operating this year. This is the highest increase in almost six years, with the government citing surging power demand. Fossil fuels provide 75% of India's energy needs. And India's demand for energy is rapidly increasing to fuel economic growth and also counter external factors such as extreme weather. In its interim budget in February, India earmarked about 9 billion US dollars to power 10 million homes with rooftop solar panels. But enabling households like these in Madeira to harness the sun's energy is only a small step. A lot more may have to be done for Prime Minister Modi to achieve his target for renewables while faced with India's rising energy needs. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Madeira and Gujarat.